Hello everybody, uh, it's the first day of fall and I'm sitting here in the backyard reading this book from Oxford University Press called The Christocentric Cosmology of St. Maximus the Confessor by Torstein Theodore Tollefson. Sounds like somebody from <clears throat> Journey to the Center of the Earth. Anyway, I feel lucky to be able to sit here in the backyard and read this book from Oxford. And I, uh, so I, I thought I'd just read this poem, something from this poem I've been working on. <coughs> um, this is from uh, the poem Lanthanum. And it's a section, a recent section from it. <clears throat> the monarch butterflies are scarce this year, and the muted red-green of the dogwood leaves scrolls toward their umber-purple sheath, those heart medallions, autumn's iron ringing clear. Henry's mixing pigment, too, his many-coated balsa wood mock-up, glued with polyglot dream memory, amalgam, alloy for tuning fork, speaking in tongs. He sets up, floats midstream, mid-continent, mid-world, his Mickey microcosmos, soldered with unknown soldiers, gentle Janus faces, Blackstone law firm, William and Williams Esquire, squirreled away, buried in rosewood casket, adrift somewhere in cloudy, unencumbered land. The lightness of this light you'll understand someday, its substance is a simple gift. Not mine, not yours, not from Manco Capac, nor the King of France, neither the Pope's nor Roger Williams' solus. Faith, hope, and charity are its true elements trackless trail of humble bee and monarch, obscurely bound together, elemental volume, A, B, C, and everywhere in nature, tucked within one graceful regal eye. Under a limestone bridge it might be found, Henry's buoyant masquerade two-wheeler, camouflaged, gray rock among rocks near the untranslatable hum of those black and yellow lightweights, iron-spoked middle sea. <clears throat>